Hello everybody, what is going on today? Today we're going to learn how to create some custom layer mask effects in Photoshop CS6. Just like this uh, kind of custom mask around the edge that I've got going on here. So let's go ahead and start out that. So go ahead and load up an image and uh, make sure that it's not a background layer anymore and make it into a layer. And then go ahead and create a new layer and fill it up with any color that you want. I'm going to fill this layer up with black. And it's behind this other layer, so when we cut out our mask, we're going to be able to have something to compare it against. Go ahead and make a selection, and you could just make a square box if you would like. It'll work. So go ahead and do that. And then click on your image and create a layer mask. So we've got our layer mask here. Make sure your mask is selected and that that layer is selected as well. And uh, come up here into filter and then come to filter gallery, which is right here. Now, <clears throat> you can use these different kinds of filters in the filter gallery to affect the edges of your mask or other parts of your mask. Now, this one in particular is under the brush strokes folder and it's called sprayed strokes. Now you can click on that and you can see that it will um, affect the edge of the mask. You can mess with the different lengths and everything like that here and the radius to give yourself some different looking uh, styles. And just go ahead, you can go through and look at all these different things. We've got some distortion here. This is Ocean Ripple, here's Glass, all that stuff. I'm going to stick with the spray strokes because I think it looks cool. And then I'm just going to hit OK. And now you can see that the custom effect has been applied to your layer mask. Now, if you really um, want to go the, in there and really, really fine tune this, you can use your brush tool. Now you can make it smaller or bigger if you want. and Go ahead and paint in some black, and you can really give yourself some new kind of um, really custom effects that just don't use the filter. But obviously what I just did was awful looking, and it would probably be better to just use a rounded rec rectangle tool to at first to get like rounded corners, but I'm just showing you how you could create custom um, layer masks by using filters and as using your paintbrush as well. Now, if I was working really hard on this, I probably wouldn't use my brush. Um, for the edges, I'd use some kind of selection tool to get nice, crisp, um, rounded edges. But that's, I'm just trying to show you how to do it. But that's how you can go ahead and create custom layer mask effects. Make sure you go into, make sure you have your mask selected, filter, and then filter gallery, and then you can go ahead and look at all the things. You can also use some of these um, different um, effects here, such as I showed you how to use the Gaussian Blur it to create some uh, transparency. So if I went ahead and did that, you can see that it's becoming transparent. And you can, I'm showing you this because you can apply more than one effect to your layer masks to create more um, unique layer mask effects. So that's all I had to show you for that, and uh, hopefully you guys learned something. See you in the next tutorial.